I know a number of people are quite surprised that there's actually no mention of the addition of fractions in our basic beliefs about them. But actually, you know what? We don't need anything more than this. This really does cover everything about the mechanics of fractions, including addition. So let's do an example of addition right now. Let's give a meaningful value to the quantity 2 thirds plus 7 fifths. All right, so 2 thirds plus 7 fifths. So how am I going to possibly do this, connect this with what I know about fractions from over yonder? Well, it takes an inspired moment to think to do the following. By belief number one, a quantity is the same as that quantity over one. I'm going to do that right now. This is really the same as that by belief number one. And now I'm kind of doing the work I did before, because I now see I've got a fraction, but it's got thirds within it, and it's got fifths within it. I don't like thirds and fifths within my fractions. So the way to make that simpler is, oh, let's just adjust by some scale factor, because that changes nothing. In fact, let me multiply this by 3. And that means I have to multiply the bottom by 3. I'll do 3 for the moment, because I want to just handle the thirds. Now I have 2 thirds times 3. 2 thirds times 3, I can see from this rule, would just be 2. So I can do this. Uh, the top line, here goes. Oh, the bottom line is fine. 3 times 1, that's just 3. 2 thirds times 3 is 2, plus 7 fifths times 3. Oh, I can't do much with that one, that's going to be just uh, the numerator gets multiplied, plus 21 fifths. Oh, I've got fifths on the top. Don't like fifths on the top. How can I handle that? Let's multiply top and bottom by 5 now, by 5. And now I think I can see what's happening, because this is going to be in bad board technique. Top line, everything gets multiplied by 5. 2 times 5 makes 10, plus 21 of 5 times 5, 5's cancel plus 21. On the bottom is 15. Oh, I can see this is really the fraction 31 fifteenths. 31 fifteenths. Here's a meaningful value to this particular quantity, 2 thirds plus 7 fifths, based on what I believe about fractions. It's equivalent to 31 fifteenths. Wow. Did it. Did it. That's wonderful. Um, actually, let me point something out. Uh, let me do an easier example. Uh, let's try this one. Let's say, uh, let's, let's remember 2 thirds plus 7 fifths. I want to come back to it. But let's do something like, say, uh, 2 sevenths plus uh, uh, 3 sevenths. Beautiful. Now, if you think about the language, the English language here, 2 sevenths plus 3 sevenths, uh, sounds like I'm dealing with quantities of sevenths, and 2 of something plus 3 of something, be they 2 apples plus 3 apples, or 2 drafts plus 3 drafts, or 2 sevenths plus 3 sevenths, must be 5 sevenths. Must be 5 sevenths. And that kind of makes sense. I've got 2 copies of 1 seventh, so it's a seventh and a seventh, plus 3 copies of a seventh, a seventh and a seventh and a seventh. Clearly, I have 5 copies of a seventh. So it's all hanging together. In general, if you've got a common denominator, sevenths, I claim that a nth plus b nth really is a plus b nth, just as we, our English wants to say it, as they're thinking about repeated copies of a quantity. But you know what? I'm going to formally prove that right now by doing the work over here. Start by saying, oh, think of this as a fraction over 1, a nth plus b nth all over 1. I don't like nths, so let me multiply the top by n, top by n, and the bottom by n. Great. And now I can use this idea over and over again, or this idea over and over again. Oh yes, bottom one, sorry. A nth times n is a, plus b nth times n is b, over 1 times n is n. Yes, 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 it's all hanging together. It's all hanging together. So if you've got a common denominator, adding fractions is just as our brain says the English is saying. 2 sevenths plus 3 sevenths is 5 sevenths. Done. Beautiful. And there is the mathematical proof of that following from our basic beliefs. Which means here's another way to handle the problem I started with. The problem I started with. Uh, which was what's 2 thirds plus uh, 7 fifths. We don't have a common denominator. But maybe there's a clever way to get a common denominator. If you think about it for a while, we can obviously do this over and over again. My favorite, favorite belief here. Uh, if I multiply the top and bottom of this one by 5, this is a bit inspired to think to do that, whilst multiplying this one top and bottom by 3, can you see what's going to happen? Well, by belief number 4, I've changed nothing, but now I can see this is 10 fifteenths plus 21 fifteenths, and by what I just proved about a common denominator, oh, I can just add them like I read them. 10 somethings plus 21 somethings makes 31 somethings, fifteenths. And I believe that's the same answer we had before. So actually, we've got addition of fractions. It's right there. Maybe we want to make a common denominator first and then just do it as we read because we proved that works. Or just do it in general by, I don't know, following your nose like I first did on this video. All is good, all is consistent, all hangs together and it's all there.